Peggy 12. I don't think, uh, it, what, what's most important is that the roads that we've created are the, the best roads that we possibly can for uh, the cars that we've got. We've got some incredible exotic supercars and um, they need a lot of room because they go really fast. So, we'll, but more importantly, I think that, you know, we went out a lot coming off um, Burnout Paradise, so we've created, uh, we think, the, the best road network ever created for these vehicles. Uh, and for that, we, we need a lot of space, and we also wanted to bring in all those sort of environmental and geographical influences. That, so, you know, when you see the manufacturers shooting the cars in real life, they're always in beautiful places, in mountains or at the coast or in the desert. You know, always such a great counterpoint to the beauty of the car. So, we've brought all of those things in um, into one environment, and you know, four times bigger than Burnham. That's right. Yeah, we're kind of where Guildford is. You've got. Um, You've got Dunsfold where, where, the, where they shoot Top Gear and you've actually got McLaren uh, based in Woking just uh, 10 minutes in the other direction and these incredible cars, always see, we always see them going past the office. Yeah, exactly, yeah. And so everyone's always taking their pictures. Yeah. We've got a, a lot of experience in online play. We're directly connected in Burnout, Paradise, uh, Burnout uh, 3 on PS2, uh, tracking relationships in Burnout Revenge, you know, online social connectivity in, uh, in Burnout Paradise. What we've done now is, you know, bring all of that learning together with, you know, the fact that everyone's, you know, uh, there are a, a friends network built into these consoles and they're all very, very highly connected. But we wanted to look at it, concentrate on bringing your friends into the heart of your game and make it very, very simple to um, sort of facilitate social competition. So everything I do is being tracked and broadcast back out into my friends with automatic comparison. So I can always see whatever I'm picking, even if I'm playing solo, how my friends have done in that event and how I compare against them. And then with recommendations, what that does is Autolog sort of takes the best stuff that's been going on and directly affects you and puts it into the recommendation so that you can come to uh, the game, select just, just to play the recommendation and you know that you're playing the game as your friends have been playing it you know, and beating you, trying to challenge you to, uh, to beat them in social competition. Yeah, thanks and uh, we look forward to uh, seeing you online uh, when we release the game in November.